Welcome back. It is 848. The home of Guiding Hands is getting ready to host its 41st annual Charity Golf Classic this Friday. So here to talk more about the event is CEO of Home of Guiding Hands, Edward Hershey, and Board Chair Cindy Harris. Good morning to the both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Thank Thanks. you for having us. Well, thank you so much for being here. Uh, Edward, I'll start with you. If you can first talk about Home of Guiding Hands and how it supports those with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Yeah. So Home of Guiding Hands has been in business for 56 years years. Uh, we started off as a small operation looking for a better way. At the time people would be put into institutes if they had an intellectual or developmental disability and uh, the family that formed HGH thought there has to be a better way to do this. So created what we have now. We've built over 56 years an array of services uh, that offer a continuum of care for individuals. Yeah and we've covered it over the years and it's just so amazing the impact that it makes not only for that individual but their families as well. I mean, this is really uh, supporting the family and providing for loved ones. Very true. Um, a lot of times families need some additional support. Sometimes there's not even families involved uh, for whatever reason. And HGH, Home of Guiding Hands, becomes that family. Oh, that's wonderful. So, Cindy, it's obvious uh, as to why uh, you, you want to get involved in an organization like this, right? Absolutely, absolutely. My sister-in-law, Sally, is uh, gets ser receives services from Home of Guiding Hands. She's part of their independent living program, uh, and so uh, because of that, uh, myself, my husband, the family um, has been very involved in Home of Guiding Hands, um, being on boards, being volunteering on different committees for um, years now. So yeah, we're very excited about the organization. It's a, a wonderful thing. And yeah. it, it needs community support, <laughs> which Absolutely. has been going strong thanks to events like the one that's coming up on Friday. So talk a little bit about what's happening with this annual charity event. Oh. So okay. Friday, we have our 41st annual um, golf event that helps support uh, what we call the mission funds. So this is goes to directly to the clients we serve, um, to the people we um, help to give them a better life, to help with services that they don't receive. Uh, Cindy talked about Sally who lives in our independent life, our living program, mm -hmm. which lives in the community and thrives and does things that you and I would take for granted. Uh, so helping individuals like um, her. So uh, Friday the 27th we're at Singing Hills uh, Golf Course uh, over at Saquon and uh, shotgun start at 9 a.m. Uh, there's still some uh, positions available so if you're okay. interested go to our website at www.guidinghands.org uh, and see how you can participate or help out. And it's a full day of fun. I mean just take the Friday off, go enjoy, absolutely. spend the whole day there. <laughs> yes, absolutely. It's a great event. It's uh, probably one of the most fun uh, golf tournaments that mm -hmm. I participate in. Uh, there's food on the course. Uh, anybody who's familiar with Singing Hills with Willow Glen knows that the four hole is a brutal shot but there's an air gun so you can land on the green in one shot uh, and uh, it's um, probably one of the most fun days that that we have at Home Guiding mm -hmm. Hands it's a great event well you can tell when it's been going on for 41 years yeah. right it's obviously a popular event uh, how much are tickets if people want to still join so uh, $250 for an individual or a thousand dollars for a team of four so teams of four can still join yep. together all Absolutely. right perfect thank you both so much for all that you do especially for our, our vulnerable community and just keep up the great work thank you thanks Appreciate for having the time thank you of course